This video talks about the most common causes of pneumonia. Now, if you want to follow along with me, please feel free to do so by going to page 196. But in the subsequent videos, I'll be talking about what are some of the most not so common causes of pneumonia and how we can uh, navigate our way through those questions. But in this particular video, I will only be talking about the most common causes of pneumonia. Now, whenever we're talking about common causes of pneumonia, it's really divided into five age groups. Uh, and the age groups are less than four weeks, four to 18 years, 18 years to 40 years, 40 years to 65 years, and then we have the elderly. So let's go through one at a time. So less than four weeks. So for less than four weeks, usually I remember them as bell, B-E-L, okay? And this bell works for both pneumonia and meningitis in kids less than four weeks. So B is for group B. E is going to be for E. coli. And L is going to be for listeria. So these are the ones that are going to cause pneumonia for children less than four weeks old. Now let's talk about uh, pneumonia causing agents from four weeks to 18 months. So the second category deals with four weeks to 18 years. And we use the mnemonic runs, may, cough, sputum. Okay? Runs, may, cough, sputum. Runs is going to be, R is going to be for RSV, M is going to be for mycoplasma, C is going to be for chlamydia, and S is going to be for strep pneumo. These are the most common causes of pneumonia between 4 weeks to 18 years. Now keep in mind that this chlamydia is chlamydia trachomatis because this is going to change later on. Okay? So this is from 4 weeks to 18 years. Now we are going to be talking about from 18 years to 40 years. Okay, And I'll show you a trick way of remembering them. You see how it says runt may cough, cough sputum? The may cough sputum is going to come here, but they're going to be a little different. I'll show you. I'll tell you why. May cough sputum. At least you can remember them. So may is going to be for mycoplasma again there is no change in this one okay but c is going to change the chlamydia is from chlamydia trachomatis it's going to change to chlamydia pneumonia okay this is the only one that's changed i should have written down in a different color but oh well chlamydia pneumonia and s is going to be for strep pneumonia nothing changed here as well okay so so far so good right now let's go to the next age group. The next age group is going to be from 40 years to 65 years. So 40 to 65 years. We both know that these are years. Okay, so now these two groups, I find them a little hard to uh, remember. But I still have a way of remembering them. And I use the mnemonic Sandy, okay? H A V have Mary. Okay, I use the mnemonic Sandy have Mary. Now see how the strep pneumo was at the, was at the very end for this age group. This strep pneumo is going to move right here. Okay, it's going to be right here. Sandy is going to be right here. H is going to be for Haemophilus influenza. Okay, Haemophilus influenza for H. A is going to be for anaerobes, okay? It's going to be for anaerobes. V is going to be for viruses, okay? So we are going to have viruses here. And mycoplasma, see how it was on top here? This is the last one on this group. So we are going to have myco. Sorry about that. Sometimes my finger slips and it just goes wacky. <laughs> okay. So those are 40 to 65 years, okay? Now, now we're in the last age groups. That age group is from, it's the elderly, okay? Now, okay, so let's see. I don't have a mnemonic for this group, but we'll try to remember it. So the first one is going to be strep pneumo. You have to remember that 40 onwards, the most common 
Okay, the most common causes of pneumonia in general, regardless of age, is going to be strep pneumo. Okay, so again, in elderly, we have the S transmitting here, so we have strep pneumo. Okay, and then you see how it has, it says Haemophilus influenza. Here, we're not going to have Haemophilus influenza, but we're going to have influenza. Okay, influenza. Now, and the subsequent ones, the last one is going to be gram negative. I remember that because that is so different. I don't know if I'm helping you or making you even more confused, but I really don't have a mnemonic to remember this part, so I kind of, you know, have different ways of remembering. So strep pneumo follows, influenza follows, and the last one is gram negative. Now what about anaerobes? Anaerobes is also going to switch here. We're also going to have anaerobes here. Okay? After that, what about, you know, in the position of viruses? What are we going to have here? We're not really going to have viruses here. What we're going to have is this Haemophilus influenza that we had influenza kind of, you know, we said influenza is going to come here. But the Haemophilus influenza is going to drop here. Okay? Here we are going to have Haemophilus influenza. Okay? So let me quickly review it. So the strep pneumo follows, influenza follows. The Haemophilus influenza drops to fourth place. The anaerobes switch, switches over. And instead of mycoplasma, in elderly we hardly see mycoplasma. Instead of mycoplasma, we're going to see gram negative. So now that we covered our basis about the most common causes of pneumonia, let's do a question. Okay, Let's do a question related to this. So let's see. Okay, so here we have a question. The question says that a 34-year-old HIV-positive male presents with sudden onset of fever, chills, cough, and left-sided chest pain that worsens with deep breathing. Physical exam reveals bronchial breath sounds over the left lower lung. Reveals bronchial breath sounds over the left lower lung. His recent CD4 count was 800 cells per millimeter cubed. Which of the following organisms is most likely responsible for this patient's symptoms? So what does this patient really have? This is an HIV patient, but his CD4 count is 800. So we are not going to see any AIDS-defining uh, AIDS defining organisms. You have to be very careful with that, right? We're not going to see any AIDS-defining organisms because the CD4 count hasn't dropped to less than 400. So it's going to be a, it's, it, this patient is going to be treated like a normal patient. So he has fever, chills, cough, and left-sided chest pain that worsens with deep breathing. This tells me that this patient is having pneumonia. Okay? And then it says physical exam reveals bronchial breath sounds. Okay? So there is a reveals bronchial breath sounds over the left lower lung. So now they're being even more specific that it's saying that it's in the lower lung. Okay, lower lung. So it's saying that it's it's a consolidation or it's a lobar pneumonia in the lower lung of the lobe. The lower lobe of the lower, the left lobe, the lower lung. Okay, so, so now if there is no other indication other than the fact that he has pneumonia, he has lower pneumonia, there's no other indication. The HIV, the CD4 count was to throw us off. So, which of the following is the most likely uh, responsible for this patient's symptoms? Now, first of all, we're going to think, okay, he's 34. Where is my list? Uh, you know, among this, uh, among this list, okay, where does he fall here? He falls between 18 to 40, okay? And you could choose mycoplasma. That's the most common cause. And then followed by chlamydia, pneumonia, and the last one is strep pneumo. But, you know, just because it's in that age group, you cannot just jump to mycoplasma. You have to think what's the most common cause of pneumonia in this particular scenario. And the most common cause of pneumonia is going to be strep pneumo. So now you could argue with me why this is the my, why this is not mycoplasma pneumonia and why this is not uh, chlamydia pneumonia. This is because mycoplasma pneumonia has a completely different presentation than strep pneumo. First of all, mycoplasma pneumonia does not um, present as lower pneumonia, which is, you know, the lower pneumonia is quite obvious in this particular question. And mycoplasma pneumonia is usually caused in younger adults 
uh, examples are college students or military recruits and they are often termed as walking pneumonia because you know when we look at the x-ray it looks really really bad but really the disease is not so bad okay so the presentation of mycoplasma pneumonia is very very different so that's why we're not going through this list yes we are we're thinking that okay what's the most common cause of low bar pneumonia and in this case the most common cause of low bar pneumonia is going to be strep pneumo the uh, most common cause of lower pneumonia for any age group is going to be strep pneumonia.